Okay, hey everyone. So, uh, class is over now, and uh, I'm walking through the rain to my car, and uh, it's inefficient to just walk and think at the same time. So I might as well shoot a video. So, one of my projects from last night uh, has finally reached to it, finally reached fruition. I'm a little tired because I have to get up at like six, and I'm not used to doing that. So this video is going to be a little bit more low key. Okay, so um, this project was something inspired by the uh, nitride coated cubes. And just to refresh your memory, the nitride coated cube is when the plastic was softened and made sticky in a special solvent, and then that sticky plastic will soak in nanoscale metal nitride and then when it hardens it traps the metal nitride into the top few microns of the plastic and then the plastic becomes very hard and the coefficient of friction goes way down um, but then it went too far down and now the cubes uncontrollable so I thought to myself if we could coat the plastic in metal nitride why can't we coat the pl plastic in a softer higher friction compound um, Right? It's, it makes sense. So I said to myself, let's do that. It was much easier said than done. Um, I might as well sit here and finish the video so that I can upload this with school Wi-Fi because it's fast. So the problem is how do you find the correct polymers and the copolymers that will mesh with the plastic? You don't want a coating that'll just wear off. You need a way to bond the actual coating into the plastic you need to figure out a way to administer the coating and it won't damage or warp the plastic. It, there's a lot more to it than just the idea. The execution is actually pretty difficult. So it took a lot of tries, a lot of time, um, but I've done it. Um, I posted it on my Instagram. I'm not gonna link my Instagram because I don't do any of this for the fame or followers. I just like, I just want a better cube. So um, what I did was I actually grafted soft plastic onto the outside of the cube, the outside of the pieces. And this, this, this grafted coating of polymer is actually just a few microns wide, if even, and it has no effect on the tolerances of the plastic. Um, on the bright side, I mean, I'm losing track because I'm trying to look around. Um, so yeah, that's what the coating does. And the cube actually feels softer and smoother and it's exactly what I've been chasing for all these months. Uh, the problem with the earlier project, the boron project, is it was inconsistent. Modifying the plastic itself is difficult, expensive, and it's different from cube to cube, plastic to plastic. But if we could coat the cube with just several hundred, a layer of several hundred molecules wide, maybe thou, not, not hundred, it's like orders of magnitude more, like microns. A micron, several microns thick of soft plastic, it has the same effect practically, and when it breaks in, that soft plastic will still be there. In effect, it has all the benefits with none of the downsides. And um, it's been approved by the boss, I've been fact tracking it. Um, I got the boss to ship me some GTS-2s, I'm going to coat them in the soft plastic. Um, I'm going to call it Cubicle Labs Polymer Treatment, Polymer Coating. It's not a treatment, it's a coating. and. Uh, like I said, I'm really sleepy, so it's a little off. Um, but we're gonna get these out to testers, and I'm gonna try my best to get this out, because I've used it, and this is finally what I've been searching for. Softer, smoother feeling on any puzzle. With this, it truly works on any puzzle, and I am really, really happy that I've finally done it. So, to follow up on this video, I'm gonna do uh, maybe an average of 50, another video and in that video I'm gonna talk about more abstract stuff and uh, in about a month or so you can expect another video from me which is not cubing related at all but I think most people will agree that it's gonna be a pretty cool video I've been working on a side project that is really really cool and um, I can't wait to show everyone so uh, until next time bye everyone I'm gonna drive home after uploading this with school Wi-Fi.